the European Commission has started uh, pushing uh, in the sector of uh, road electrification since a few years. We've uh, uh, given a strong impulse with the Green Cars Initiative, which has uh, uh, provided something like uh, 400 million uh, funding plus in this, in this area. The uh, projects which have been funded uh, are trying to solve the issues which, stay, which remain in the uh, technological uh, sector, but as well uh, to look into applications. And uh, charging, for instance, is one of the problems that uh, are uh, hindering the uh, adoption of this technology. We have a work recently on what we call the strategic pillars. Strategic pillars group together areas and topics in different domains. One of the domains is sustainable propulsion, second is safe and integrated mobility, and third is affordability and competitiveness. So what are the pillars for? We have grouped together research and innovation topics that are relevant for automotive vehicle manufacturers, and we have also produced roadmaps. One of the pillars, the sustainable propulsion, deals with uh, clean and uh, fuel efficient uh, propulsion and powertrain. Electromobility is included in this uh, area, in this pillar, and is one of the main part of uh, the pillar itself. We want to have electrification of mobility because we see that there are limitations with respect to the current uh, situation where we have uh, conventional fuels which are limited concerning their availability and also we see that uh, uh, there are also effects concerning emissions then which are especially harmful in the urban environment. With electric vehicles we can deal with both challenges. First of all electric vehicles are cleaner, they are also quieter and second the energy sources in the future will also to a large extent be renewable. That means that we also address the issue concerning climate change, concerning reduction of CO2 emissions. Fabric is addressing the very important issue of dynamic wireless charging of fully electrical vehicles. Although electromobility is considered to be a key issue for addressing the environmental issues related with uh, mobility and road transport, there are serious concerns related mainly with range issues. Dynamic charging, especially on road dynamic charging, is considered to be one of the answers to address these obstacles and these concerns. On road charging, as I said, is one way of addressing uh, the problem of range. Uh, the vehicle uh, would uh, uh, pick up uh, uh, energy from uh, uh, something which is uh, in, the, in the road and uh, uh, by this it would need uh, a smaller battery, it would be cheaper and uh, it would be possible to go long distances uh, over uh, the main axis of the European uh, network. Of course, this uh, requires uh, big investments and, uh, and therefore this project is one of the most long-term that we have because basically we are trying to anticipate uh, potential problems by looking at all the implications that putting uh, an infrastructure into the road. At the same time we need uh, that any work which is done in this, for instance in the cities where most probably there will be the first applications, to be compatible with uh, one another. We don't want that uh, a vehicle that is working with the system in Berlin uh, doesn't work as soon as it gets uh, into Munich or, uh, or into Paris. So we are also with this project trying to establish the requirements for so-called interoperability which guarantees that uh, there is uh, compatibility between the systems when they are uh, deployed. On-road transport could be one of the solutions. Of course we have uh, to investigate in depth what uh, are the critical areas uh, what the technology is for and have then at the end uh, some uh, very cost-effective uh, solution to deploy uh, the system all over Europe. The most important challenge concerning electric vehicles in the future is the limited storage capacity uh, for energy and therefore also 
a limited range for the electric vehicles. And here, dynamic charging can compensate for this shortcoming so that the charging can be done when the vehicle is moving. Energy storage is currently one of the biggest problems facing electromobility. Uh, battery technology is expensive and it doesn't provide the range that's typically expected from vehicles in current transport setup. Projects such as Fabric can help to develop technologies which help to provide charging infrastructure built into the road infrastructure uh, and propel the vehicles over longer distances without needing to carry the larger batteries on board the vehicles. As the project addresses a quite innovative area with key technological issues, there is a need to do a number of studies related both with the technological issues but also feasibility and implementation issues. Dynamic charging needs to be examined both in terms of technology, in terms of socio-economic impact, in terms of feasibility and in terms of the impact that we'll have in issues related with infrastructure, both road and grid. The question on how we can incorporate electrified roads on the road charging in the future society is a very difficult question. It's not only about making technology work, but it's also about making it beneficial for society as a whole. Thinking about the system, thinking about the potential uh, uh, interactions with other parts of the technical transportation system. What we expect is at the end of the project uh, to have uh, a complete set of uh, requirements, uh, of uh, concepts, to have tested some of the technologies which are at the moment uh, being uh, worked upon, both uh, independently by manufacturers, and as I said, to make sure that uh, these things uh, uh, cooperate. At the same time, we, uh, we want to assess uh, as many technologies uh, at the moment uh, in development uh, as we can so that we know also if and where there are limitations and problems uh, so that uh, we have an indication for future projects uh, uh, to improve uh, whichever, whatever will be found to be limiting these technologies. We have high expectation about fabric. Feasibility study is important, find a cost-effective solution that can de be deployed uh, all over Europe uh, is a major target. So we welcome Fabric uh, and uh, we are uh, uh, looking forward to a good result from the project. Fabric is dealing with the topic of dynamic charging in a very holistic way. It will deal with the necessary standardization, which is important so that we have these services uh, on a European dimension and also it will look at the acceptance and the impact of dynamic charging in the context of electromobility. If the project is successful, dynamic charging could have a major impact on electromobility and on environmental friendly mobility in general, both in Europe and worldwide. It could provide the means so electromobility could massively implement it all over the world. We hope that within Fabric we can work together with technical specialists on ICT, on infrastructure, on the uh, electric system and on the car uh, aspects. And we hope that by doing this, uh, the Fabric project can make a real contribution towards a more sustainable society and a more sustainable transportation system. Developments in, in, in projects such as Fabric will take wireless charging beyond the current state of the art and help to deploy the technology uh, into the road infrastructure to allow electric vehicles to travel longer distances, reducing battery size and potentially reducing the cost of those vehicles. As such, it will help to, take, to improve the take-up of electric vehicles and improve the adoption of electromobility across Europe.